baby wee wee and he had a little willy. <laughs> it's a woman show. You're not a man. Please. Oh, I'm a silly man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you fat bitch. Yeah, it looks great. Oh, so, oh yeah, look, you're beautiful. You're, oh yeah, yeah, gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so much better now, so much better. Really changes your whole look. <laughs> I'm a duck. I'm a duck. She's a duck. We're all ducks! <laughs> Welcome back for another episode of Teenage vs 20 something my internet family. We get a lot of questions under collabs that we do together about like are we real sisters or are they have sisters we, or do they have different dads and all this but, like are what, we real what? sisters? No. Are we like why would you even ask? Would... Of course we're not real sisters. We're fake sisters. Duh. Yes, we do have different dads but we are Sisters. We are sisters. And um, we get a lot of questions as well about how we got on when we were growing up and how different our childhoods were and stuff. Because, like, I am technically an 80s baby. I was born in 1989, but I kind of grew up with a lot of 90s stuff. Yeah. Whereas this little one, I was eight when she was born. I was born in 98, so technically grew up in the naughty, just the zeros. We grew up with, like, such different movies and tv shows and candy so we're going to talk through like a bunch of categories and stuff in this video just because i think it'd be a bit fun um and yeah, yeah. let you know us a bit more do you know what always makes me realize how massive of an age gap there is what is because the harry potter books and stuff like yeah the, the movies came out when you were like a little toddler whereas like when I was a kid, I was literally reading them as they were being released, and yeah. I was going to the midnight launches oh, yeah. and stuff. You were just kind of the movie generation, I'm the book generation. Yeah. Social media obviously wasn't a thing back when you were no. growing up. It was unknown. Oh my goodness, like, I was literally that generation where we were the first wave of people who had to deal with, like... Dialing the internet in. Yeah, we had internet <laughs> dial-up and... We had a website thing called Bebo, which was kind of like Facebook, um, but it was really slow and clunky. And I remember Bebo. Do you? Did you have Bebo? I was. I I didn't have my own Bebo, but I remember me and my friend always used to go on to her brother's Bebo because we both <laughs> wanted a Bebo so bad. But you were too young. Yeah, we used to be giving all the love. Yeah, you could give someone a love heart for the day, and you had like a top sixteen list of friends that used to like drive all of your friends yeah. crazy. But um, I got my first mobile when I was quite young, but my first phone and your first phone are probably so different. Like my yeah. first phone had um, this game called Snake on it. Oh, I love that. Yeah, and it wasn't like, it wasn't a touch screen. It didn't have a, a camera on it or anything. My first phone was like, I think it was a Motorola. Do you remember them? I think- How advanced was it? Um, it was like a flip one. Oh! But like, they are so like, if you see anyone like, flipping their phone up now. They like, were so cute. Cool, remember in the movies and they do and you're oh, I want one of them. <laughs> Who were your main crushes growing up? Because the people oh. you would have had crushes on would have been different from Well, them. I can say who yours was, Melanie. Gareth effing Gate. I've been letting you down, down. Girl, I know I've been such a... Every inch of her room was covered in a Gareth Gate poster and a picture of his head you could not see any room did not exist gareth gates was from pop idol which is was out before x factor it was the first and it was real and they weren't fake auditions and he yeah. should have won but yeah. will, will young won and it broke my heart some find it in the face of their children or some find it in the lover's eyes I Without thought Gary. we could get married because I was 12 and he was 18. <laughs> and I was like, ma'am, there's only five years age difference. She was actually them. obsessed. Like, I actually think you had a bit of a, like some issues. <laughs> I was a bit obsessed. Yeah, yeah she was, it was. It was a bit extreme. Can you remember me ever? The boy out of high school musical. Oh, Troy Bolton. She makes this feel so right. And should I go for it? I'm going to shake this. Yikes. Yeah, I did have a and, and, and High School Musical was like, way, I just did not get it. But she was like, we're all in this together. Bop, 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 bop to the top. Slip and slide and ride that rhythm. <laughs> but even on that, like, with TV shows and movies and all that kind of stuff, all the movies that I grew up watching, like, so many of them were, like, 
really amazing big like 80s blockbuster movies yeah. or like just really good movies i'm thinking of like trilogies like the back to the future movies the indiana jones movies um the star wars movies oh i've seen star wars but that be it yeah but no tell me what happens in star wars then oh i see one of the star wars like <laughs> she has no idea about star wars admit defeat you don't know just go like just stop dissing me i wasn't like a massive movie person i was can you believe we're related? Rugrat obsessed. <laughs> oh, I love them. I still love them. I have to say, even though you were a little kid and Rugrats was kind of aimed at you, I really enjoyed it, even yeah. when I was older. To the point that, you know the way the character Angelica has a doll called Cynthia? She had Cynthia. I made a Cynthia. I got a Barbie doll, right? And I destroyed her. I ruined her hair to make it all stick out and I coloured in one of her dresses. And I used to run out around the house eating cookies and stuff because I wanted to be her. <laughs> Angelica. Yeah, and and like there was like shows like oh my goodness, remember the days when we would wake up and go downstairs and watch um Cartoon Network and stuff. Yeah, all the morning. Oh, Dexter. And yeah, like oh, this yeah. is where we kind of came together a little bit because even though because we were both still kids, so like I moved out when I was like sixteen, but I would still visit a lot from my dad's house. Yeah. Um, but when I was like that kind of young teenage age and she was a little kid there was a lot of cartoons that we watched together yeah we watched cow and so chicken many. dexter's laboratory powerpuff girls johnny bravo oh my god yeah there were so many of so, them even some of them i had forgotten and then you said it, i was like oh my god yeah like yeah. We, every saturday we'd like a routine it was like me and andrew we'd always make like a little fort yeah and we'd like just with like, the couch pillows we'd make this little bed fort. it was so cool like it used to be we used to think it was the best the coolest thing, ever. thing it was the coolest thing like i can't wait to have kids and i'm gonna do, do that, that with them yeah. <gasps> do you remember the cartoon bar bar no oh Blinky Bill? No. <laughs> Do you remember the big moon? With the bear? Yeah, the bear! What was that called? She was so into oh. Teletubbies. I can't oh, even. I love Teletubbies. I had to sit through that shit and the fucking tweenies. Tweenies! I loved <laughs> Dora the Explorer. Dora! Swipey, no, swipey! I don't think you really grew up though with a lot of. The shows that I did. So, if it, for example, Friends and Simpsons and Buffy. I don't think you ever got really into them because no. they were kind of before your time. Yeah, like I've I've seen like all Simpsons because Andrew was always watching them. Yeah, yeah. So and I was but like, you you were never mad into it yourself. No, I was no, I was never mad into any of them because yeah, they were kind of all finished by the time I was of an age. I'd so be, weird yeah. to me. Like I can't even contemplate being you in your age position. Computer games is another thing. Computer games was always a big thing in our house. Yeah. And Toontown. Did you ever play Toontown? No. <gasps> Guys, did any of you please tell me someone play Toontown? It was on the computer. The best thing ever. Right, right. you're not even going to understand. So I'm not even going to get into oh, it. First console you remember. PlayStation 2. Oh no, are them little square things that you used to... A Game Boy? Game Boy, maybe. I don't know. I had a PlayStation 1, oh, my friend. I remember PlayStation 1, actually. And now babies are growing up with PlayStation 4. It's madness. Did you ever play Sims? I was Sims obsessed. No, that was... I know some people my age who were into Sims, but I think that was more... It was too young for me. I liked World Did, of Warcraft and but like... it's not very young at all. Like, I was obsessed. What was the first computer game you played that you remember? Probably like Sims 2 or something. Oh my god, you're so young. Wow. My my first games I ever played, right? So my parents had a massive computer before. Like, does any of you remember, are any of you old enough to remember when a computer, like a PC, was a huge, massive... Oh, the real big, like the fat tellies. It used to be like a fat computer, like real fat. Real yeah, fat, I yeah. Remember. But we had these um games on the computer of old Disney movies. Like, there was Lion King and there was... Pocahontas and they were just like CD ROMs. Did I ever play them? No, they oh, were yeah. so bad, like they were really slow and crappy and but I loved them. I was like, oh my god, like that's the first time that computer games like I saw them and hey oh. popular. I was of the kind of generation where games were like side scroller, so say Abe's Odyssey when Mario used to go across the screen before he was like, I remember that. Toys as well. Like yeah. Christmas was such a big thing oh, in our house. Christmas was a massive thing in our house. Yeah. Oh, I was absolutely, I loved like all the 
the babies, you know, like the babies and all like and I used to the prams. Not baby born. I had baby born, but you had a different baby one. Annabelle. Baby Annabelle. Baby Annabelle. Do you remember baby wee wee and he had a little willy and the water would come out? I as remember willy. that. And I remember you getting all these toys that I was like, oh, I wish that was around when I was little. Like I was so, I would play with a set of keys a and key I'd, get, I'd get one key and another key, right? And this was the head of the animal and this was the tail of the animal and all the ones in the middle were the legs. And I'd get makeup brushes and I'd pretend that was a person and stuff. They like, definitely <laughs> should have signed you in back, <laughs> back in the day, definitely. Yeah. I remember the Jurassic Park toys so clearly and Power Rangers toys, but that was before your time. Yeah. Like you, you had... Oh, brass! I was brass. Do you remember that? No, I brats weren't out when I was little. I had them. Um, oh, see, I was a bit older Barbies. with brats though. Oh, I had loads of Barbies. Yeah. You had my Barbies, so Pat. Oh, like, like, oh, bear fucking. Mm. <laughs> Music wise, uh, so Britney, Backstreet Boys, Boys Britney, uh, no. Westlife, mm. Nirvana, Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne, I was into when I was like pink. quite young. I was very into pink. Yeah, we had a bit of a crisscross, didn't we? Yeah. But like Christina Aguilera. Oh, Christina, I loved her, yeah. I remember, I, but remember though when she went from Christina Aguilera to Christina Aguilera. Aguilera. <laughs> dirty. And Britney did kind of do Britney turned into a dirty yeah. bitch. Um, but I still remember when Britney's first music video came out and I was like, in Isn't that fatuated. Oh, baby, baby. When she's little, the little uniform. And the pink, the pink. She was only 16. Like, I feel like a bit bad now watching that. I'm like, God, stop looking at her like that. Are you fat? It's so bad. See, like, our dads as well brought us up on kind of different stuff. So, like, my dad used to play a lot of, like, the Beatles and Pink Floyd and bands like that. So, I grew up loving. A huge, yeah, farts still smells. I grew up loving all. <laughs> I grew up loving a whole lot of like really old music and um your dad likes he, he always like Queen and Bruce Springsteen I do love and Queen Abba so and Abba I love Abba so much what was the music in the noughties like I feel like you know the way in your head you can go 60s music you get a sound 50s 70s 80s you know what it sounds like even 90s but when you think of the noughties what was that was it all just like pop. rap was it R&B pop like what pop I don't know. Yeah, basically, I just, I have a lot of memories of kind of being outside and like, I used to dress up in army uniforms and everything and go and throw stones in fields. Like, I think I did a lot more of that than you did because of social yeah. media coming in. Was it a common thing still to keep a diary when you were a teenager? Because I used to keep diaries. I never did. I had one diary and I was like writing in it about like this boy that I liked and all and I drew a picture of him like I, I just drew a picture of a naked I remember this. man and me and all and I think like my mum found it she and she was, like, she was like where oh, did you learn this what are you doing and I was like oh because just I used to write everything down and I, I don't think many young people really do that as I much anymore it's dangerous territory <laughs> like yeah yeah tell us in the comments if you are a 90s baby or a naughty's baby and also we did a video on jessica's channel exposing her tinder which was very hilarious funny. Uh, so i'll link that down below if you want to watch that next and um give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and you want us to do more in this series yes so, and um, we will see you next time that's what we'll do bye, bye.